together? Are we together? Are we together? Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bibiri iravuga ngo kubwo muhanuzi Israel yavuye mu Giputa kubwo muhanuzi Israel yararinzwe. The Bible says by a prophet Israel left Egypt and by a prophet Israel was preserved. Donc umuhanuzi yatumye Israel iva mu ngoyi. The prophet left made Israel leave captivity. Nanone kubwo umuhanuzi Israel yararinzwe. And by a prophet Israel was preserved. Eh twarabiganiriyeho. We have had time to talk about it. Nanone ico Musa asigiye abisirayeli. So what Moses left the Israelites? Ngira ngo tukirebe uyu munsi. That I would like us to look at. Mu gitabo kiza gutega kwa kabiri. In Deuteronomy. Ibice 18. Chapter 18. Verse 1. Chapter 18 verse 18 I'll raise up for them a prophet like you from among their brethren and will put my words in his mouth and he shall speak to them all that I command him Igihe bari bageze hafi yo kwambuka imana imiteguza musa gutaha When they were about to cross over and God is preparing the Moses about the crossing over Igitabo cyo gutega kwa kabiri The book of Deuteronomy Ni igitabo cyo gusubira mu mategeko yose bari barahawe igihe bari ku musozi Horebu cyangwa si Sinai Is a book that for them to be it was the book that shows the repetition of all the laws that were given on Horeb or Mount Horeb Mu Kirundi wabivuga neza kurusha mu Kinyarwanda In Kirundi spoken better ivyagezwe na mategeko ivyagezwe na mategeko laws the laws that babivuga neza none how they say it mu gitabo cy'ikirundi gutegeka kwa kabiri bayita ngo gusubira mu vyagezwe so in in kirundi they literally say repeating the laws nuko niko bivuga ubundi that is what is said in ah yongeye kubasubirira mu vyagezwe mu mategeko yari bari bara So he repeated the same laws they had been given. But a great word he gave them. Imana ibwira Musa ngo abwira Abisirayeli ngo nzabahagurukiriza umuhanuzi hagati muri mwebwe umeze nkawe. God tells Moses, I will raise up for them a prophet like you among their brethren. Umuhanuzi umeze nkawe. A prophet like you. Nzamuhagurutsa. I will raise him up. Kuko Egiputa Israeli yavanwe numuhanuzi because Israel left Egypt by a prophet Umuhanuzi yakoze contribution ikomeye yakoze ibimenyetso nibitangaza byatumye Israel iva mu bunyagano So a prophet did great signs and wonders that enabled the Israelites to leave the the city or the place of captivity Hosea 12:14 Hosea 12:14 Yere ku 13 mu Kinyarwanda 12 ku murongo wa 13 mucongeza ni ku 14 Uwiteka yavanye Israel muri muri Egiputa abitegetse umuhanuzi kandi umuhanuzi niwe wamurindaga In Hosea it's Hosea 12:13 in the English version by a 14 By a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt by a prophet he was preserved. Urumva rero ngo umuhanuzi ni w'Imana yakoresheje kugira ngo bakure mu bunyage kandi umuhanuzi ni w'Imana yakoresheje kugira ngo ubwo bwoko burindwe. By a prophet God used used him to take them out of captivity and by a prophet they were preserved. Bararizwe they were protected ikintu gikomeye yaragiye kubasigira the greatest thing he was to live with them ikintu gikomeye yaragiye kubaha the greatest thing he was to give them imana yaramubwiye ngo nzabahagurutsa undi muhanuzi god told them i'll raise you another prophet israel izagendera nanone mwijwi y'ubuhanuzi israel will walk again in the prophetic voice 
Israel is again the ramuz of this ubuhanuzi. They will walk again in the dreams of prophecy. Is again the ramwire kwa ryavuzwe n'abahanuzi. In the revelation of vision of the prophets. Imani shimwe cha. Praise God. Rero hari bimenyetso bitanu ngiye kuganiraho namwe aha bibiri yitubwira mu gitabo cyiza kuteya kwa kabiri bigaragaza umuhanuzi ukuri. So there will be five signs in Deuteronomy that show the true prophet. Ndabwi list mvuze ari irangiza ariko ndavuga gusa ibiri mu gitabo cha Deuteronomy cyangwa guteya kwa kabiri igice cha 18 ndetse n'igice cha 13 aho niho mvuga ibyo bimenyetso bitanu. This list is not exhaustive however I'll pick only five from chapter 18 and even chapter 13. Ishambo rya mbere umuhanuzi kugira ngo abe umuhanuzi wemewe agomba kuba akomoka muri mwe a prophet for them to be true needs to be your brethren niyo mpamvu Yesu yaje gukomoka mu bayuda igiye cyose yakoraga igitangaza barabwo ngo twabonye umuhanuzi urutaba that is why Jesus came from the Jews every time he did a miracle they say we've seen a greater prophet than the others gutega kwa kabiri 18 Deuteronomy 18:15 Nguwite kimana yawe izabahagurikiza umuhanuzi umeze nkanje ukomotse hagati muri mwe muri bene wanyu azaba ari we mwumvira The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from your midst from your brethren him you shall hear Umuhanuzi ukomoka muri mwe A prophet from among you or your brethren Umeze nkanje Who is like me azaba ari hagati muri mwe will be amidst you and he's your brethren hear him impamvu imana ikoresha umuntu wo muri twe the reason why god uses our brethren nibyo bigaragaza ko ari imana it is evident that it is god uwo muntu tuba tuzi wabo we know where they come from tuba tuzi umuryango we know his family tuba tuzi integengezi wabo we know we know their weakness tuba tuzi ubukene bwiwabo we know their poverty tuba tuzi uko bateye we know how they live ariko mu gitondo kimwe but one morning akavuka akabzuka na magambo tutazi he wakes up with words we don't understand akavuga ibintu biturenge y'ubwenge things beyond our wisdom akavuga ibintu udashobora gusobanukira things we cannot comprehend kandi ibintu bisobanutse byumvikana things that are clear abantu bakibaza ngo si uri Yesu wakana aka people say that belongs he belongs to someone es uri Yesu munye naka isn't he from the other family es uri Yesu munye naka naka na nyira naka isn't he the son of the other one es bari yabigeze kumenya ibyo ubuhanuzi have they ever been prophets Umusi muhanuzi ya Mose yagurutse When Amos was a reason Umutambyi ya Masiya yaramuhamagaye Aha Masiya called brought him a son Amujana imbere y'umwami And took him to the king Arabwo ngo uyu muntu ko arigereranya ngo yabaye umuhanuzi This person is saying he's a prophet Bati mu mukubite Beat him Aramubwa ati mwingubita He say why are you beating me Imana yasanze ndagiye God found me with my flock. I was under the fig tree. Father was ne- my father was never prophet. We never prophesied. But he found me in the valley and in the mountain. And God spoke to me. Micah said, I am filled with the spirit of God. Ngo kugira ngo mbwirize Israeli cyaha cyabo ngo mbabwire gukiranuka ndetse n'imanza zitabera by'Imana. For me to preach to Israel their sin and righteousness and justice. Abo bari abantu basanzwe. These are normal ordinary. Bene wabo. Their brethren. Umuse b'Israeli bagiye mu bunyagano i Babylon. When the Israelites to were taken to captivity in Babylon. Abami baragiye. The kings left. Abatanzi baragenda. The priests left. Abalewi baragenda. The Levites left. Abantu bose baragenda. Everyone left. Bagena nta muhanuzi. There was no prophet there. Barajana n'umwana w'umulewi, umwana w'umutambyi. They went to the son of elevi baragenda bose bicara ku nyanja keba they were sitting at the river of keba bamanikinanga zabo they put up their hands kuko bari bafite gahinda kenshi cyane because they were full of sorrow bibaza impamvu basuye mu bunyagano imana yari yaravuze ngo nibazongera kuba mu bure twukundi wondering why they've been taken back to captivity god had said they'll never be enslaved bari cyara bose bumiwe they were all sorrowful bose bafite gahinda they were full of pain da ubasha kuvugana nundi no one speaking to bibiri iravuga ngo ku munsi wa munane on the eighth ngishwe y'Imana riza kuri Ezekiel the voice of god came upon him yari umwe muri bo yari afite gahinda ngabo yari afite mibabaro ngabo ngo mwana w'umuntu ngo hanurira inzu ya Ezekiel ya ya Israel prophesy to the house of israel yari umwe muri bo he was their brother from afar 
Even if you do not believe you to be a prophet, but in your home you will be a prophet. The reason why God brought salvation to you before the rest of the family is that you may be their prophet. God will never bring people from afar when there's people right there. I will raise up a prophet among your brethren. Who's like me? This is Moses. Your own son. God will raise him. That is amazing. So a prophet is not arose by the majority of the people. He is raised by God himself. And raises him from a family. And raises him from the brethren. That is the first sign. The second sign. A prophet always should speak in the name of God. Not in his own name. It's different from his emotions. There are people who prophesy best on the problems you're facing, but a true prophet will prophesy from the voice of God. Deuteronomy 18 19. The Bible says, Kand, Utazumvira Magambo Yanji, Uo. Uwo azavuga mwizi na ryanje utazabyumvira nzabimuhora And it shall be that who, whichever will not hear my words which he speaks in my name I will require it for him Ubundi iyo uvugishwa nima Normally when God speaks to you ugomba gukorana nizi na ryimana you have to work with the name of God. After the prophecy you give, you need to say, This is what the Lord says. Because says the Lord. Whenever you speak and end a prophecy by saying, Thus says the Lord, you are confirming that God is your witness. Do you hear me well? God says that you're the Showing that your thoughts are not the thoughts of God, you always finish the prophecy by saying, Thus says the Lord. Every time the prophets prophesied and say, That is what the Lord of hosts says. Thus says the Lord of Israel. Thus says the God who never changes. Whatever I have spoken is in the name of the Almighty. That conclusion is key for every true prophet. They need to finish with the name of the Lord as a witness. Some are taught prophecy. Some will go to the school of prophecy. That's where they learn who will be their witness every time they prophesy. Because every time people lived on the earth, God has always been their witness. The Bible says in heaven are three witnesses and on earth are three witnesses. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And on earth is three witnesses. There is the blood, the spirit, and water. Those that those are witnesses. So when you speak for God, you finish by saying, Thus says the Lord, because He sent you. When you're sent as a messenger, you pass the message and conclude by saying, I was sent, but these are His words. 
There are people who change the mission they've been given. They go and they are just messengers, but when they get there, they take the authority as though it's themselves. When those that sent him get to know about it, he might be in trouble. And the prophet is always an ambassador of God. Every time he prophesies, he says, Thus says the Lord. Praise God. This is the Bible. The third sign. Agomba. He should be a person that is able to see the times of now and the times to come. Because a prophet. When we say a person is a prophet. He should be able to see the times of now ahead of them. They have a vision that is ahead. So a true prophet will always speak of the things to come or are nearing. When he says things and they don't happen that is evidence of him being false. But a true prophet he will speak true things and they happen. 1822. Deuteronomy. From verse 21. Verse 21. Verse 21. And if you say in your heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord has not spoken? When a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, if the thing does not happen or come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord has not spoken. The prophet has spoken it presumptuously. You shall not be afraid of him. Do not listen or fear a person who speaks presumptuously. And they even use the word, the name of the Lord. We have people that lie. I want to tell you that prophecy of God is true. Some, Some will give excuses and say something might happen, might have happened, and God changed the prophecy. That is not true. Every time God speaks, it has to happen. One time a prophet came and told the king, said, King, what Jeremiah said is false. This is what the Lord is saying. He blew the trumpet. He blew the trumpet. You are victorious. You are victorious. So Jeremiah came. He was carrying some chains. He had the yoke on him. He had a uh, yoke in his neck. The one they put in a goat. It is a yoke in the Bible. The way I wear this yoke is how the king will be taken into will be taken with the Israelites. So Hanan ran. Amen. And he broke the yoke and hit Jeremiah. He left. He took the trumpet and says, Listen to what the Lord says. Victory, victory, victory. So Jeremiah saw him. He said, King, listen. 
You will know the true prophet when what we spoke becomes fulfilled. This man that just said this, I want to tell him, this yoke he broke from my neck, in a short time he will die. Then it will be a sign to you that what I said is true. In a short while, Hanan died. People got to know that Jeremiah was a true prophet. The true prophet speaks of things and they are tangible. Do you hear well? A true prophet will be known by his words becoming true. Amen. 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 One time where I was living in Kisangani, family with the family. I used to pray for them and teach them the word. The mother of the house, she was too much in the spirit. There were spiritual babies, those that always want you to pray all the time. You know them. So all the time she would call me, come, let's pray. Please, let's pray. And I would say, but I'm tired. I need to rest. He says, Christ might come back. So you're always immature and want to pray all the time. No, no, three So we are sitting in the house. After eating and we are praying, I saw a big, a long bridge. I told Mama, you are traveling soon. Next week. And you'll drive across a long bridge with your car. And from that journey, you'll get a roll of money. Said, my son, what kind of journey? Because I'm not planning any. And I said, for me the Lord has said that you are traveling next week let's wait and see if it's true it will happen if not then it won't happen so one time she went to another prayer house and found another prophet and she, this prophet spoke to her and she was excited and invited him to her house in the evening he came but this lady had told me about it she had a humble husband very humble so she would call all of us from our rooms then we come with her husband there is a great servant of God from the time I have lived she would just keep us remember she has told me she has no journey but she keeps talking and talking so did you go to ask someone else <laughs> then she would ask that prophet please can you check and see do I really have a journey next week then she, when this prophet just rubs his handkerchief in his face the prophecy just comes pouring down said she didn't see what you told me I was just laughing I said just bring him in when I saw this man I didn't believe him I was looking down at my Bible and the lady said looks like you're not happy about him today, 
umugabo umugore we n'uwo muntu twari bane nyobore uri yabwirize we were four of us me the visitor her and the husband she asked me that i will lead the prayer and the prophet the prophet will preach mukanya hinjiye mu ndi famiye then shortly another family came na yari abatumije she had also invited them na mugere ko je sinimoni yumvamo kuyobora he said i don't feel like leading this ndumva nabyiyumvamo I don't feel like leading Look this. Go see where he said, it's okay, I will lead the prayers. I said, thank you. The man just kept throwing himself up and shaking himself. The he said, God is saying. I read in the book of Enoch, <laughs> chapter 7. So I just laughed and ignored what he was saying. I kept turning my Bible. So the visiting family and the one I was staying with, they were Christian babies or immature. So they started looking for the book of Enoch. I kept quiet. Mama, what are you Enoch, Enoch, Geneza kagera muri apocalypse kongira kazabuka ndaceceka uko nta 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 eno kirimo Mama Oda the mother of the house started from Genesis to Revelation there was no book of Enoch None no Wa mugaba rahagaza tegereje ko basoma eno kikarindwe So the other man is waiting for the passage to be read Ubwo acenye iminota 5 bose barashakisha barashaka Five minutes have passed. Everyone is looking for Enoch seven. Wa mama ngo kitwaza mbona au tusaidie tafuta Enoch. Ngo kutatushe utatubwira. So this lady is like kitwaza could you facilitate us find that book? Ndamubwira mama nta Enoch iba muri Bibiliya. I said mother there is no Enoch in the Bible. Ngo nanza kupinga frema unanza napa. Muratangiye kupinga uyu muntu naha. Are you starting to show that you don't like this man now? Ndavugo ya. No. Enoch ndi iba muri Bibiliya. Enoch is not a biblical book. Mm. Said, really? No, no, I so she turned to the man. Yeah, the man is like, she was a, a stout woman and she said, you search for the passage and read it for us. So the man, the lady gave the Bible to him. And then he started searching Akona kanu gatimana arimo yerekana umuhanuzi w'ukuri no wibinyoma. Kuko baba barifatiye abandi giye kirekire. It was a small sign for God to reveal who was the true and false prophet because they have misled people for a while. Umugabo. This man icuya kiratemba hagaze. He start sweating. Arakomeje. He continues. Arashakisha. He searching. Namubwira nta yibamo. And I told him Enoch doesn't exist. Is it possible you can make a mistake? So I take on the word. I said, kindly take your seat. He was happy. He was, he was like a statue and he was sweating. So he was happy I told him to sit. For me to take him out of his shame. I took them to Jude. One seven. And I took them to that where they said the prophet, uh, uh, prophet Enoch said the king will come down with the armies of heaven. <laughs> and, and then I said here Jude was talking about prophet Enoch and said right there that's what I meant. So my people took it as truth. I was saving him. So Mama Oda was very excited and she said, Amen, Amen. I said, we still have a long journey in this house. I just left them. In the morning, this man left. So the lady said, however, God did not confirm that I'm going anywhere this week. 
tegereze tuzamenya uyu mugabo wawe nange wimana ikoresha I said let's wait and see whether God is using this man of yours or me Hageze kwa gatatu When it was Friday ba telefone umugabo we They called his her husband from Kinshasa From Kinshasa Baravuga ngo bakeneye umugore we byihutirwa bafite ubwato bwuzuye mu masamaki avuye muri Africa yepfo amasamaki bakundaga kwita mpiyodi Amen. They called the husband and said, "Please tell your wife she's urgently needed. There is a ship that is offloading fish from South Africa. We need the money quickly so that she can sell it and she'll be able to make a profit." Immediately she drove over this long bridge that was to take her to the port, and as she drove, she said, "Please tell Jitwaza that he's a true prophet." So that ship came. Busangari wa rufi tama farange yoku yoku detu ana ni bini bzo saraya tanga ba guri shayo masama aki bungu ka millioni na millioni zama dola. And she had the money ready, and she sold the fish, and they made a lot of profits in millions of dollars. Umugora raza. So this woman came. Anezere we cha. Very joyful. Aram we angule mutu iko fo profete iko fo profete. Iko fo profet asifike tena mu inyumba. And she said the other man was a false and very false prophet. Let him never come again to this house. Damu kira pana mama. I said no mom. Murete muzan. Bring him again. Sinshaka no kuzongera kumubona nabona na presence bose nibagende. I don't want to ever set my eyes on him even those I've introduced already I don't want to meet them. Imani kweshu muhanuz. When God is using a prophet, he shows them what is to happen. What is near and that's far. And when he speaks of it, it happens. But a false prophet, or the one working with the motions, what he says never happens. Umuhanuzi ukuri. A true prophet. Agomba guhanura, agaragaza ibimenyetso nibitangaza. Has to prophesy showing signs and wonders. Ibimenyetso nibitangaza. Has to prophesy with signs and wonders. 13 ku murongo wa kabiri. Gutega kwa kabiri. Deuteronomy 13 verse 2. Ngo muri imwe ni yabone ku muhanuzi cyangwa umurose akakubira ikimenyetso cyangwa igitangaza. Deuteronomy 13 verse 2 and the sign or the wonder comes to pass of which he spoke to you saying he must be able to predict the signs and the wonders agomba kuba ari capable kuvuga ibyo bimenyetso nibitangaza kuko umuhanuzi ukuri igiye cyose ahanura ibintu bikaba Elisha yaravuze ngo ejo kaya masa ibiryo bizuzura mu gihugu ibiryo biraza the true prophet is capable or should be able to prophesy with signs and wonders just like Elisha prophesied tomorrow at a time as this food will fill the entire nation and it happens I would like that your life this evening be be able to see signs and wonders May God open your eyes to be able to see the signs and wonders the Lord has prepared ahead of you Umuhanuzi agomba kuba afite imbaraga zo kuvuga ibitangaza n'ibimenyetso bikaba Elisha yabwiye umwami aramubwira ngo ndumva imvuri giye kugwa The prophet should be able to have the power to prophesy with signs and wonders Elisha said I feel and I hear as the rain is about to come Kuko iyo umuntu ahanura ibizaza iyo umuntu ahanura ibizaza vyesho uwo muko murimo ugomba no gukora ibitangaza iyo umuhanuzi gusa ahera kubizaza kubizaza ntagere muri dimension yo gukora ibitangaza kuvuga ibizaba ari mu rwego rutoya 
kuko ibyo birajyana umuhanuzi agomba gukoresha ibitangaza n'ibimenyetso when a prophet just prophesies of things to come but that are not evident with signs and wonders they are still at a lower level but a true prophet needs to prophesy with signs and wonders and they should be evident niyo mpamvu Musa yakoze ibitangaza n'ibimenyetso imbere ya Farao yaravuga ngo ejo igihugu kizuzura mu inzika ejo igihugu kizatahwa mu ibikeri ejo igihugu kizuzura mu inda ejo bikaba uko avuze bikaba uko avuze bikaba bituma Musa atangana Farao atangana aravuga ngo aba bana mubareke batahiwa That is why Moses always prophesied about something and wonders or signs happened. He would say tomorrow the country will be full of frogs, it would happen. It will be full of locusts, it would happen. It would be full of fleas and it would happen. So that by the time it happened, Pharaoh got to a point and said, I'm releasing you people. It's too much for me. Icho kimi kimenyetso rero, nico gitangaza igiye cyose kigaragaza ku muntu ari kumwe n'Imana. So that sign of wonder is evident that God is with that person. Yes, amaze gukora ibitangaza baravuze ngo umuhanuzi ukomeye uruta abandi yageze muri twebwe. When Jesus had finished doing the miracles he said the greatest prophet is a medicine. Natera ni rya bahanuzi mwe ni muhambwe gukora ibitangaza n'ibimenyetso. You assembly of prophets may you receive the power to do signs and wonders. Hanuririyo mibereho ihinduke. Prophesy to your lifestyle let it change. Hanuririyo ubwo buzima buhinduke. Prophesy to your life let it change. Hanuri hanurira hanurira ayo magufa abe mazima prophesy to the bones to become life isombarakaza ubuhanuzi nizinshira muri wowe may the power of prophecy come into your life may muri wowe ibyafuye nibizuke muri wowe ubuhumye nibukuvemo blindness disappear imbaraga nizikuzemo hanura mwizina ryuwiteka ibitangaza n'ibimenyetso bigaragare mu buzima bwa signs and wonders be evident in your life imana ishimwe cyane praise god icyagatahano need to conform to the revelation he's been given Praise God The word they speak need to conform to what he, the vision he received So when he says things they need to come from God but if he misses out some things That means that's not from God. Gutegeka kwa kabiri 13. Deuteronomy 13. Ku murongo wa gatatu. Verse 3. Icho kimenyeso cyangwa icyo gitangaza iyo bivuze kigasohora. Icyo yakubwiye yagira ati Duhindukira izindi imana izo utigeze kumenya tuzikoreje. Tuzemera amagambo y'uwo muhanuzi cyangwa y'uwo murose kuko uwiteka imana yanyu izaba ibagerageza ngo imenye yuko mukundisha uwiteka imana yanyu imitima yanyu yose n'ubugingo bwanyu bwose For the English version is Deuteronomy 13:2 and the sign or the wonder comes to pass of which he spoke to you saying let us go after other gods which you have not known and let us serve them you shall not listen to the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams For the Lord your God is testing you to know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Aha unyumve neza. Listen well. Araja kubwiye ibimenyetse nibitanga. He's telling you of signs and wonders. Urabibonye birabaye. You see it it's like. Yarangiza akakubwira ngo. Then he tells you. Kuko amaze kugufata umutima. Because he's taken your heart. Ngwino tuje harakagirwa mana hari. Come let's pray to that God. Nguza hitumenya ku uwo muntu. No immediately. Kuko ibyo avuze nibyo yeretswe. That what he spoke and what he saw are different and contradictory. Know that he's false. You hear well. God come, he comes to you. Imana iravuze ko ari urwaye igifukira kide cyangwa ikibyimba kikuvuye mu kabona kiragira. God 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 has just said you've been sick of your stomach or you had a wound or a swelling and you see that it's actually gone after he says that. Yamara kubona kumwemeye After he sees oh he has taken your heart. But then he adds and says on your account there is money and please sign it off for me. Nigutu umuntu yagira imbaraga zirukana ibibyimba biri mu nda bikagenda yarangiza kagusaba gasheke. How is it possible someone prophesies of a wound or a swelling and it disappears and then he asks you for money? Amajambo na source of revelation Meaning the words he spoke and the source of that revelation are different. 
Umuzi ukuri. A true prophet. Azana maho. Brings peace. Azana ruku. Brings love. Azana ubumwe. Brings unity. Azana machakubi. Doesn't bring conflict. Uwo numuhanuzi. That is a true prophet. Ariko muhanuzi binyo. But a false prophet. Agenda teranya. He makes people go into conflict. He separates people. Abihera kuki. How does he start? Kuko harutu nuige zekuba bwira turaba. Kubera kugat ako kan. Where do they start? They start from the one thing they ever told you and it became true. Then they start to manipulate your emotions. Today, be able to separate the false and the true prophets. Just because they tell you of what is to happen to you, it doesn't mean they are true prophets. Because even which doctors will tell you what is to come. But the difference between the servant of God and the sorcerer is the fruit they bear after the prophecy. What fruits do you bear? What happens after that prophecy? After you did that, what happened? May God bless you. May God bless you. May God strengthen you. May God support you. As you get to know, true prophets, may your eyes be open. God is also making you prophets. God is opening your eyes. That you prophesy to your life. Prophesy to your lifestyle. And they him raise, they him raise you. Amen. Amen. Shima yes. Be praised, Lord. Shima yes. Be praised. Mana tu shimbere amuri yumugoro. Father, we come before you this evening. Tugu sabango. Begging you. Uduhi shuri. That you reveal to us. Umuka wawe. Your truth. The spirit of prophecy that we will walk in it. We are tired of false prophets. We are tired of those that are lying. We are not able to separate the gods and the, the lambs. Open our eyes. We are tired of the false Take us out of the manipulation of the sorcerers and the false prophets. So we will know your true servants. The glory is unto you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Can we have one more song from Alari? Eh? Ni music. Ni music. Please come. Music. Come. Alari me itue. Alari is going to cheer us up a little. Amen. Amen. Tukwadu pa promuju je mutuza ne muri recepcio hari ya Ni muda kuge na kwa nguvu zaidi kuri kila ni mara kote cha.
Yesu ni nwari munambara na janani kwa arakomeye Weza mama sinzisi ya Yesu zavuga kukomera kwe Sisa wema kubibgira haba zango moka ho Yesu ni nwari munambara na janani kwa arakomeye Kose Zama maso we Zama maso tinti ya Yesu Zama gangu kwa mera we Sisa we ma Sisa we ma kubibira Haba zangu mongo ho Yesu ni mwari muna umara Na janani wa Mara kwa meye Aye Zama maso Zama maso tinti ya Yesu Zama gangu kwa mera we Sisa we ma kubibira Haba zangu mongo ho I'm 
tunafunja tunapomboa kwanza tunafunja tunapomboa tunafunja tunapomboa tunapomboa tunakomelie tunatusinda tunakomelie tunakomelie Thank you. 
gice kinini kirahanga cyasabye ngo turirime ngo aduheze ku mugongo none ho rero bwana sifiwe muyanga sifiwe nyuma yabwo rero uyu mugabo uyu mugabo yansabye ngo asenge isengesho rikufa none mu mbabarire asenge narangiza gusenga turirimbe ngo aduheze ku mugongo iyo ndirimbo ni irangira mube microphone oya ni tusirimba tuzasirimba ejo ndataga microphone tuye turarangira sawa 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 turapfukamye eritia uruwo kwegamirwa kanda bakwegamiye ntabwo uje ubareka ngo bagwe hasi uruwo kwegamirwa na uje kwegamira ngo nyeganyege uruwo kwegamirwa na uje kwegamira ngo ahungabane kwegamirwa wa mana we uru kwegamirwa wa mana we uru kwegamirwa gitsare uru kwisungwa uru kwisungwa uru kwegamirwa tugwaye cubayira kwegamirwa ma ushimwe ko watugirie nesa ukaduha kwitirigwa izina ryawe twegamiye umugabo ukomeye uruwo kwegamirwa ma tugwaye cubahira uruwo kwegamirwa Mashimana kona indi mani wani Arako zeritie Lero Ndagira ngo turimbi yo ndirimbo Cedric ye Arako ndaza gusaba ni babazi ko yarako muri mu musaba ikisirimba reka twiye maximum iminota ni minota 10 sibyo Ndetse ku mugongo ni 5 ni gisimba ni 5. Ibyo birarangiye. Ico mu maximum wako. Bwana sifiwe. Bazamure mikoro gatoya. Bwana sifiwe. Tuzamure ico rwe twese cy'Imana. Haleluya! Haleluya! Bwana sifiwe. Haleluya! Haleluya! Hey! Kisima chale kingali Aliena kiu Maji mazu Aliyo ya kububuchi Kisima chale Kisima chale Chama chale Hakika uki Hata Chama, kisi ma chama, chama di sa, aki kauki ata. Hey, ni eliyangu na kumuzi na na lo. Hey, tungu 
ukiwa mitupu utunge ukiwa mtupu ukipungukiwa ima ufike kisima cha lehi ufike kisima cha ili tota afya uzima afya uzima kisima chema kisima cha chama kisha Kikauki hata milele Nie yanu na pumuzi ka na roho yango ena tule Hey Kal hey Upange na upumuzi Go 
nagiye gushira sibyo ba murakoze cyane ngaho kristo igisirimba 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 okay ngiye kuyo bari igisirimba aho nkirangiriza naho nga nga yego microphone muzirambike nani ndi baturirimba murambike microphone ndi jisigarana murambike microphone
us applaud the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you because you are good to us. Thank you that we have sung to you and we've praised you. Bless allow ministries that, that was able to lead us to your throne. We give ourselves into your hands, Lord. Go with us to our homes in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Go with the peace of Jesus Christ. God bless you. We'll see you again. In Africa, arise. Bye bye. Bye.